Hi, Lil. Hi, Shri Hari. What has brought you here? I am expecting an interesting use case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I got to work with an educational institution. Mm-hmm. They have a web application, as you see in the screen, Lil. Mm-hmm. So using this web application, students will enroll for a course, and for each corresponding course, there will be a backend logic app which processes those uh, applications. Wonderful. Now my job is to ensure each of these logic app is processing only 50 seats mm-hmm. uh you know 50 applications for uh, each department okay right so how do i actually decouple this and achieve my use case with uh, a scalable solution ll excellent so um, you need and service that will perfectly decouple the a uh, web portal which accepts the user registration and the backend applications that processes the application am i correct exactly and in this case you also need to ensure the applications are processed in the order of their arrival which means the seats are allocated in the first come first served basis am i correct right lll excellent so m- my recommendation would be an assure service bus with a specific property enabled uh, this can really fit into this scenario shri hari i can connect my uh, web portal to send messages to my service bus queue and the logic apps can receive messages from the same service bus queue seamlessly so this way we can uh, reliably decouple my front uh, web portal and your back end processing applications coming to the point of ensuring first come first served yes we do have an property supported by azure service bus queue that can really fit into the scenario let me show you how so i am in a service bus namespace uh, make sure your namespace is in standard tier um, which is the tier that supports the property that we are looking for so when i try to create a queue here is my queue and i'm leaving the properties of size and delivery count to be default and my focus now is to ensure an ordered processing of incoming messages and this enable session is a property that can get it done for me so as we see here service bus sessions allow ordered handling of unbounded sequences of related messages so every single word here makes sense and it can really fit into our scenario so with session enabled queue can guarantee a first in first out delivery of messages so which is exactly what we need isn't it yeah hello so i enable sessions and then i go ahead create my queue so as you see here Here is my service bus queue that has been created with the uh, set properties. Let me take help from Serverless Three Hundred and Sixty to give you a better visibility on the messages that we push into the queue. Yeah. So um, let us imagine um, the students are enrolling through the um, web portal. So what actually happens in this phase the web portal will compile the student details into an service bus message and push it into this queue So as we see here from the web portal 11 registrations has been submitted to this service bus queue so that's what reflect as 11 messages here Now we need to ensure the messages have arrived in the order of their um insertion into the queue So here when I try to peek the messages in my service bus queue in serverless 360 I'm presented with the top 10 messages and I get to see that they have adhered to the sequence number so sequence number gets associated to a message when the message is pushed into the queue this is the order of their arrival and you can also ensure that the end queue time is also in line with the sequence number so now actually in your use case you have specific backend um applications that will process applications to the specific department isn't it right so what we can do here is so when we send a message to the queue 
so when i sent a message to this queue which this would ideally happen in the web portal right. the message should be associated with an session id same um i set the session id equivalent to the value of the department so when the student registered for uh, bsc course the session id will be bsc when they register for ba course it's going to be ba and when they register for bcom it's going to be bcom so here let me simulate and send a uh, no, registration to ba course okay yeah? so now when we load more messages we should get a couple of more messages we have we have sent um one more message now that sums up with the existing level so yes we have got messages 12 the 12th message has arrived in here yes so now imagine logic app that specific to bsc department wants to pick only those messages that has been submitted registered for the course bsc or well, the messages can be very well filtered based on the session id which in this case is a department name so this logic app is presented with those registrations that are corresponding to the bsc course and strictly in the order of their arrival as you see in between there could be an a message with sequence number 5 but that is for a different department hence that message is not 